Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at one of my favorite filming spot locations because guess what? I have that one vehicle that is the epitome of a muscle car and it's this car right here. What is it? It's a 2023 Dodge Challenger Swinger. But before we get into this special last call edition, let's talk about what's going on here. It's a shame. Dodge is killing off the Charger and the Challenger as we currently know it. Now, there's a lot of mutterings about what that next muscle car is gonna be. Of course, during Dodge Speed Week, we brought you the Dodge Charger EV, which that is still up in the air. And then of course, there's been spy shots, supposedly of frames that have transmission tunnels. That means that there's going to be some other internal combustion engine muscle car. Now, will that be paired with an electrification to make it hybrid? that too is up in the air. But one thing is for certain, in 2023, as we're closing out the year, Dodge is closing out big time with a bunch of special editions. Now the Swinger edition dates back to the 1970s when you had really top selling vehicles like the Dodge Dart Swinger. And it's all about bringing that fun driving muscle car experience. Now, what's great is, is you actually get three color choices with this particular last call. And not all of them are like that. For example, if you buy a Black Ghost Special Edition, obviously it only comes in black. This you could get Sublime Green, which is what you see here, classic muscle car color, F8 Green, which is more like a forest green, or White Knuckle, which is gonna be that pure bright white. But what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a muscle car and you've been thinking about maybe going with the new Mustang, because remember we have a whole new redesigned Mustang for model year 2024. Do you go Mustang GT or should you be doing the Challenger Swinger? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into this wide body muscle car and find out. Right off the bat, the color. Sublime Green has got to be one of those perfect muscle car colors and it really fits this Swinger Edition to a T. Now you're gonna get those extra three inches. Everybody, every guy out there wants an easy three inches. You get an easy three inches of width to the front end of this wide body. And remember, this is essentially a Challenger Scat Pack wide body with some very special touches. So as we drop down, you'll see those massive flared fenders. Those are gonna keep the 305s. We got 305s tire size, all four corners. When you go wide body, you're gonna get the larger front splitter. This splitter is so large that Steven actually had his lunch. He's been meal prepping. He actually had his meal prep bowl right here on the corner of this splitter, sat on the asphalt and just spooned that stuff into his mouth like it was going out of style. As we come across that front end, like I said, this is the epitome of a muscle car. Large car, even larger engine underneath the hood. I love the way it's got the Challenger script, for those of you that are in Gen Z, this is called cursive. I know they're not teaching it anymore in school. It's called cursive. The Challenger name, you got your flat black egg crate grill. And then of course we got the RT badge. What does that stand for? Road and track. Love having the quad headlights, looking really mean. And then working our way down, all of the venting that is that egg crate, flat black is fully functional. And then you can see how that splitter extends off the front end of this vehicle. But definitely, like I said, being a wide body, and remember, one of the newer additions is this is a wide body with the shaker hood. So as we rise up, you don't really get a big, huge muscle car bulge. Where the bulge is, is in this bad boy right here. Fully functional, shake and bake hood. Love that style. This color is called gold school. So think old school, but it's got the slightest hint of a gold tinge to it. And this color matches into what you're gonna see on the side, but it's great to go on throttle and see that thing shake and bake, baby, back and forth. Now, as we swing wide with this swinger, like I told you, gold school, you're gonna get these gold school 20 inch wheels. Love the simple V-spoke design. You have those nice, large Brembo calipers flat black. I am going to zonk them. I wish they would have made them green, sublime green. Let me know in the comment section if you would have liked to have seen that touch. But you got the 305 tires, all four corners, the six piston Brembos, 
with a brake rotor that's over 15 inches in diameter. Think about the pizza that you stuffed in your mouth last night. That's bigger than the pizza that you, uh, that you ordered from Pizza Hut. But it's a two-piece rotor. Nice to see a very performance-oriented brand like Brembo on these Challengers, especially this special edition. You have the a tuned, specially tuned wide body suspension, also all four corners. Of course, you're gonna get line lock, you're gonna get launch control, all of those SRT performance pages. Now, as we come down the side, I love the way they have the B with that old gold school style. The, the badges that Dodge uses is such a classic look. And when you compare this to the Mustang GT, yes, this is a large car. Yes, the chassis is very dated, but I really feel like this, like I said, is the epitome of what a true muscle car is. Now, as we come down, you're gonna get those nicely sculpted side mirrors. No sunroof, and I'm okay with that. From the side of the vehicle, you see that extra length. You see that real substance that's in the style, especially with the way that they did the window frame. Love the way that when you put the window down, it just has that classic look. Coming towards the rear, the exterior touch, besides the shaker hood being gold school and the wheels, is you're gonna get the tail stripe with the Swinger name. I know Swinger has a lot of meanings today. What we're talking about is swinging horsepower muscle. Now, as we come around the back, you are gonna get that nice, large, flat black trunklet spoiler. I wish that they would have put some type of badging here, maybe Challenger or something. You do get your LED nicely done taillights. I like the way they blacked out the Dodge badge. And then as we work our way down, you're still getting the same exhaust, which I am going to zonk. I wish that they would do something different than the vacuum cleaner style, especially on these last call special editions. Remember, these are limited to a thousand examples. And with that, you do get that shaker hood, but some different exhaust would have been a nice touch. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's shaking and baking underneath it. All right, guys, we got the massive hood open. One of the things you're going to notice is that big gaping hole in the center. That is for the functional shaker. And I like the way it's got the classic badging. Like I said, shake and bake. It was interesting. I took this car to Cars and Coffee last week, and somebody actually came up to me when I had the hood open and was like, does the engine really shake? I had to tell him, yes, that's why they call it the shaker. It actually moves when you go on throttle. So you can see that functional scoop up top. And then what you'll notice is how it feeds the air to this large air box with your k and cone filter, nice large cone filter. There's your throttle body getting all that V8 goodness. And I like the way every Challenger and Charger is getting a last call badge because it is that last year. But what are we talking about power-wise? You are looking at a 6.4 liter V8 Hemi, 485 horsepower, 475 pound-feet of torque. The crazy news is guess what? Yes, you could get a torque flight eight-speed automatic. This bad boy has the Tremec six-speed manual. That's the same Tremec that Dodge once had in the mighty Viper. So zero to 60, if you know how to do the dance, around 4.1 seconds, if you're able to dance on those twinkle toes of yours. Quarter mile goes by at 11.7, and it has a top speed of 180 miles per hour. Now, if you care about MPGs, you're watching the ROM review, man. I got Priuses, I got EVs for you. I got uh, all sorts of vehicles that are a little more conservative on fuel. You're looking at 14 in the city and around 24 on the highway, but that's not what this car is about. This car is about that Tremec six-speed, about that 6.4 liters of V8 goodness. That's 392 cubic inches. That engine, this engine is actually larger in this car than it is in the Hellcat. Hellcat's a 6.2 liter super, uh, supercharged V8. This is a 6.4 liter naturally aspirated V8. If you're comparing it to Mustang GT, this car wins by five horsepower. 480 horsepower in the Mustang GT. This has 485. But the bigger news is Mustang GT does not come with the Tremec. This does. But why don't we stop with the chit chat, fire this thing up, and smoke some tires? <laughs>
right, guys, we are inside this 2023 Challenger Swinger. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, the hell with it. My, my, my daughter finally moved out. She's 45. I've been paying for her bills. Daddy wants a muscle car, and I want one of these. How much is it? Well, here's the great news is, when it comes to these last call special editions, this is exactly the way it comes from the dealership. The only thing you're choosing is choice of color and transmission. That's it. With the Tremec six speed, you're looking at an MSRP of $66,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the door panels, you're gonna get the premium interior. So what that means is you're getting the smooth, leather-like soft touch material that's lime green stitching. So they actually do special stitching just for this particular model, no gloss black. You'll notice up front, you have a, a cup holder for your bottle of surge and we have the Alpine sound system on the back side of the door panel. That's where you're gonna put your track Twinkies. And remember those Twinkies are not for you or your passenger, it's for the competition that you blow away. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same thing, soft touch material. I love the way Dodge does all their badging. And then and of course you got the Super B there. As you come on in, yes, this is all dated. We've all been over that. I know in the comment section you're saying, well, it's old. Will they put a new infotainment system? No, they're not doing that. They're getting rid of the car as we know it. So you still have the 8.4 inch Uconnect 4 system. I like it because with the performance pages, you could bring up all sorts of great information from G-Force to all your gauges. And then of course, we have our drive modes. So you hit your drive modes across the top, custom, where you can fine tune everything. You got your sport, your track. Love this page because this is where we can adjust our launch control RPM. You got shift lights, activate your line lock. So you hit that, that's where you're gonna do your smoky burnout. And then of course, you also have your different race options as well. So they got you covered when it comes to how to set up everything on the screen. I'm gonna show you the backup camera. It's quite disgusting. We go into reverse. There's your backup camera. It's not clear and it's got this weird yellowish tinge. The good news is, is you got trajectory, but you know what? You really shouldn't be going backwards in your Challenger. You should be going forwards. Working your way down, real knobs and buttons. And I like this. I even like the fact that you could shut the screen off. So we'll X out of that. You could actually shut the screen off so it doesn't bother you at the track. I like that. They think about the drag racer. Then you're gonna have this faux wood, silver faux wood design going on. And then this is really the sweet spot. This is that Tremec six-speed manual transmission with the shift ball on the end, leather with the lime green stitching on the shift knob, the boot, and this is the same transmission out of the Dodge Viper. Nice, smooth rows. You'll notice on the side here, we do have a Twinkie net for another Twinkie, and you do have a 12 volt so that you can run a radar detector. I highly recommend, or you're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble. Two cup holders, standard Dodge key fob. I wish they would have made it a swinger key fob. There's your buttons. You don't have remote start because this is a manual transmission. Soft touch material, open this up. I got tons of felt lining in here, two USB-A's, aux jack and a 12 volt. I can't show it to you because it's on my side. So you're gonna have to take my word for it. The good news is, is that you could actually put a little glass jar in here for all the tiers of the Mustang and Camaro owners that you're gonna smoke check at the track. Seats, nice soft leather. You got the Dodge logo with the lime green, nice bolstering, it's got the Alcantara. It's manual adjustments for the passenger. For the driver, I have half manual adjustments. So the back is still manual, but I have an electric bottom assist. And then of course, where you're gonna really beat, if I could reach the handle here, where you're really gonna beat the Mustang is in the back seat area. Let me slide this up for Steven. He's got a little room back there. Tons of room. I could sit back here and I'm not even touching the headliner. So that's a very nice touch. But while we go ahead, it's all about the business end. I got triple pedals over here because we have this manual. Get your butt over here. I wanna show you behind the wheel of the Challenger Swinger. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings, but like I said, the zonk is, it's only electric assist on the bottom. I want electric assist on the back as well. But the great news is we have our triple pedals. Nice aluminum clutch, brake pedal and throttle. If you're wondering what this little pedal is, that's your e-brake. 
that's how it used to be on a lot of older cars. So it's kind of cool to have that. The thing that's not cool is this little baby size uh, dead pedal. It's, it should be have an aluminum pedal there and it needs to be a little larger for a muscle car this size. But like I said, you got your seat controls for the bottom, including, including your lower lumbar. The seats are comfy for the drag strip. They're not really gonna hold you in that well on the twisty roads, but it's still a ton of fun. And I'll prove that in a few moments. Now, when it comes to the steering wheel, I do like the way they put the leather all the way around flat bottom. It's another area where I wish they would take this Dodge badge out and put the Swinger logo or even a Challenger logo. You do have flat black on the switch gear. It is an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you have your dash, nice large seven inch digital display where you could change through a cornucopia of different information, which is cool. And you got your analog gauges, makes it perfect. But really the cherry on top of this muscle car Sunday is that shake and bake hood. But while we go ahead, let's get to the trunk, see what kind of junk we could put on it because I wanna go on throttle in this Challenger. All right, guys, I know I've done trunks before, but I just wanna do it one more time because where this Challenger lays a smack down on the Mustang GT is in trunk space. Tons of room. Obviously the seats are gonna do that 60-40 split. You got well over 16 cubic feet of space. And I love this room because it's perfect for when you go to the drag strip. If you have some slicks mounted on some 17 inch wheels, you could get those mounted on and have your jack and your jack stands do your quarter mile and then put it back to street duty to get you home and you got all that room here. But you know what? It's not about, not about the trunk in these cars. Even though they're very large, what it's about is that on throttle experience. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's fire up this beast and go for a spin. All right, guys, we're inside this 2023 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack Wide Body Swinger Special Edition. And we're going to go on throttle. I have it in track mode. Are you ready? On throttle. Here we go. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, smoke them because we got them. Smoke them because we got them. <laughs> I'm telling you. The sound of that 6.4 liter Hemi V8. <laughs> you got the massive Brembos to haul this beast down. Yeah! I tell you, it's one of those things that, yes, the car we know, the chassis is dated. The design you could say is dated. The interior tech is dated. But what this car just has a spillover effect on is the on-throttle fun. And it's controllable with the Scat Pack, that 6.4 liter Hemi V8, 485 horsepower, this Tremec manual transmission. What's great about it is that it's usable power, it's controllable power. I was spinning tires in second gear and it was nice and controllable to where I wasn't sliding all over the place. But that's what Dodge really has done so well with this car, is just recreating the original muscle car days. It allows for such a unique driving experience that really it's, it's hard to come by. May not be the fastest, may not be the lightest, may not be the newest, but boy, is it the best when it comes to that muscle car fun. I love the fact that I could bring up different gauges in that center di digital cluster. You have line lock, launch control, shift lights, drive modes. I mean, they got you covered every which way from Sunday when it comes to having that drag strip tech. All right, guys, are you ready? We're gonna drop it down to second gear here. Are you ready? Oh, here we go. Yeah! Listen to that Hemi scream. Woo! <laughs> I tell you, with the adaptive dampers, all four corners, it really does a great job of allowing you to hustle this swinger. And I'm telling you, they did a great job on the pedal placement. The way that they have the brake pedal and the throttle 
allow for the most harmonious heel toe downshifting. I am really digging this setup and I want one of these. Uh, I really think that going with a scat pack, because this is basically what this is, a scat pack wide body, 485 horsepower, plenty of power, but you could get the power to the ground, rowing through the six speed, it's the same Tremec out of a Viper. So you really got that going for you. And then of course the V8 sound. That's what a muscle car is about. All right guys, you ready once again? On throttle, here we go. On the brakes. Yeah, shake and bake baby, shake and bake. <laughs> Love it. Love the sound of that V8. Heel toe downshift. I tell you, she's not light, but boy, does she love to dance. The front end grip is actually pretty darn good for what is going on with this vehicle. Remember, you got those massive pieces of rubber at all four corners and I think for me this Tremec is just a lot of fun to row through different than the Tremec that's in my Shelby GT350R seeing the big shaker hood do its thing and then when you're doing your normal driving and you're cruising the seats are comfy you have everything within fingers tip reach and it's going to be these cars that 20, 30 years from now, you say, man, I should have bought one. Well, here it is. And especially being a swinger special edition, having that limited number in Sublime is Sublime. That's how great this setup is. And it's just, it's a, it's a ton of fun, a ton of fun. All right, guys, one more time for you. Definitely, definitely one more time for me. We're gonna smoke them because we got them. And this is for the last call edition for this Challenger Scat Pack. Wide body, the swinger. I'm gonna be swinging some smoke all over the place and bits of rubber, you ready? On throw, here we go. Yeah! Woo! So controllable. Love the sound on the brakes. Look at this. Heel toe downshift, smooth as butter. Yeah! Third gear, she just pulls the torque. Gobs of it. Gobs of torque. <laughs> Look at this thing. It is a beast. telling you the heel toe downshift action in this car is freaking just phenomenal the pedal placement is so perfect and i love how the front end bites it's got a nice bite to it it allows you to really grip and really turn very very well with the front end even though there's a lot of weight hanging off that front end she turns very well i am pleasantly impressed and then comfort i got heated seats i got power adjustments i got a power tilting steering wheel i mean ventilated seats heated steering wheel i mean this is stuff that you wish your classic muscle car had <laughs> it's just fun it's just fun to road through the six speed and really just think about how badass this car is i know sublime is not for everybody but you have to admit, it's probably, I think the three most muscle car colors that are available is Sublime, Plum Crazy, and Go Mango. That's gotta be the three most muscle car worthy colors I've ever seen in my life. Let me know how you feel about that in the comment section, but we're gonna get back. I'm hoping that you enjoyed 
this on throttle slick shift and six speed manual fun we're gonna get back and wrap this one up unfortunately wrap it up so i'll see you in a split second all right guys it's been a fun driving six speed shifting kind of day in this mopar known as the 2023 challenger swinger definitely got to thank darren david and the rest of the dodge crew getting us access to this press fleet vehicle let me know what you think is this the best way to send off the mighty challenger as we know it and is it better to go this route than the new s650 mustang gt let me know down in that comment section but if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile come back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radius rights family of course we need to give it up to the muscle behind the lens he's getting more and more swole each and every day show steven some love in the comment section thank you steven for all that you're doing just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride